A painter can paint colorful images. Did you know that you can also create the same masterpiece without the use of paint or brush? You can paint with your words just like what poets do. Poets are also like artists because they can create images through words. The artworks of the painters are called paintings. How about the written works of the poets? Poetry is a form of an artistic expression. By filling up the pages using their words, poets ignite colorful images. Before you write your own poem, first, you need to know the common types of poetry and literary devices or techniques. Teens, do you know that haiku is a three-line stanza with a 575 syllable count? Let me show you an example. Notice that it has three lines. The first line has five syllables, second line has seven syllables, and the third line has three syllables again. Remember also that most haiku talk about nature, seasons, and animals. It's time to go romantic with the second type called sonnet. And this poem, How Do I Love Thee, is its example. Remember that sonnet is a 14-line poem traditionally written in iambic pentameter. It is sensationalized by William Shakespeare. The third common type of a poem is the epic. Epic is a long narrative poem that normally tells a story about a hero or an adventure. And one of the most important epic poems of old English literature is Beowulf. The fourth one is the ballad. Ballad is a type of poem that tells a story and is sometimes set to music. The main feature of a ballad is the repetition of certain lines or even the whole stanza. The fifth common type is Limerick. It is a five-line poem with a rhyme scheme of A, A, B, B, A. Lines 1, 2, and 5 rhyme together, while lines 3 and 4 rhyme with each other. The next type of a poetic form is the calligram, also called a shape poem. In this poem, the shape and the layout of the letters and words relate to the poem's meaning. Would you like to tell me what shape this poem makes? How does this shape relate to the poem's subject? Correct! This poem takes the form of an umbrella because its subject is about rain. Our next type of poem is called free verse. It is deliberately irregular, no pattern, and with non-rhyming lines. It is free of traditional rhyme, metrical, and stanza patterns. Let me show you an example of a free verse poem written by Emily Dickinson. Our last type is very familiar with you, the acrostic poem. Also called name poem, it spells out words with the first letter in each line. It describes someone or something. This is an example of an acrostic poem. 